Hi, this is Christy, Technical Architect with Technology Services Group. Today I'm going to show you a brief overview of the standalone Activity BPMN suite from Alfresco and some of its features. The version I'll be showing you today is an early release, it's version 1.1.0. The new Activity suite comes with a front-end web application that's built on AngularJS. The interface allows you to, to design process diagrams and forms on the fly. You're also able to import any existing BPMN workflows that you have in the form designer. Here I have a simple process diagram where a user will submit a publishing request um, to their manager for approval and then approval by the appropriate publishing team. In the new front-end application for activity, a visual editor has been provided so that you can modify um, form process definitions on the fly. This could replace the Eclipse plugin or could work alongside with it. Um, you'll see really similar items that you saw in the Eclipse plugin, um, but these items are really easy to drag and drop immediately onto your form. Um, you can fill out the various properties, set listeners, assignees, etc. The new activity interface also provides what's called the Step Editor, which is a visual editor that a power business user could use without having to know how to design the process diagrams that we saw previously. From the process start, they can either automatically start the task or configure a form that um, we've already configured. Then we can add various steps with this plus sign. We've got a human step, an email step, if they have a choice between approve or reject, etc. So here we can have a human step and assign it to a single user, which we will search for. Uh, we can also configure the form on this task, which we will choose an approve or reject form. And then we'll just add a simple email step. And then what's nice about both the step editor and the BPMN editor, they have a validate tool that you can check. And it'll let you know if you have any validation errors. Here you can see the form designer, which allows you to configure forms for each task in your workflow. I've already configured the forms for this workflow and configured the process diagram to use them. Here you can see the start task form, where the user will fill out the title of their form, they'll select a manager and then a team for approval, um, they'll select a type and a drop down, like a blog post or a press release, a description, and upload any related documents. The Activity Suite has a new concept called Apps. Um, these allow you to share different sets of workflows with different users with different permissions. Here I'm going to create an app and add our publishing workflow to it. I'm going to save the app and then I can check this box to automatically publish it. So here you'll see the publishing workflows. We've already published it. We can also select it and then determine which users to share it with. Now when I go back to my home page, I can add this app as a shortcut. Now I can start a new publishing workflow from the Processes tab. I can choose a title and the date that I would like this item to be published. In this type ahead, I can easily choose the manager that will need to approve this item, as well as the team or group that will need to approve this in the second step. From this drop down, I'm going to select a press release. The 
with a short description, and then I'm going to attach related files for this item. I'll choose a logo and the text of the press release itself. Then you'll see below the visibility and vertical for this item. Um, normally a press release would be public, but for demonstration purposes I'm going to choose business unit. You'll see when I selected business unit that a new field appeared below where I can select the appropriate business unit for this item. You can configure fields to be dynamic and configure their visibility based on the values of other fields in your form. So now we'll start the process. Here you can see a summary page of the workflow that we just started. It will show you the active task and who it's assigned to. You can review the start form and the items that were filled out. Um, any tasks that have been completed so far in this workflow would be displayed here and the related documents that we attached. You can also show the diagram which will highlight the step um, that the workflow is currently on. You can see here that I've logged in with my Christy Lewis user who I assigned the first task to. I'm going to add a shortcut on my home page to the publishing workflow app because it's been shared with me. If I click on this shortcut, I'll then see any tasks that have been assigned to me. So here I can see the manager approval task um, and we've listed out some read-only fields from that original start form. Um, and then if I click on these icons, I can see the related content. I can view the press release and it shows me a preview. I could download it, and then I can approve or reject the task. Now that the task has been approved, you'll see that it is no longer in my inbox. I've now logged in with a manager user who is a part of the team that we chose in the first step of the workflow. Again, I'm going to add a shortcut to the Publishing Workflows app on my home page. When I click on that link, I can now see the team approval step that is assigned to me. I can view the documents um, for the press release. I can preview them. And then I can approve or reject the item. Once the item is approved or rejected, we send an email to the workflow initiator to let them know the status of their request. Today in our overview of the Activity BPM Suite, we saw how you can create process definitions, configure forms um, that you can use for those process definitions, and then how to set up and configure an application so that you can share different workflows with different groups with different permissions. TSG has been working with the Activity Engine for years, and we already use it in our HPI and Open Content products, as well as within Alfresco. We look forward to working with this new front-end interface for our clients.